Welcome back to the Green Workbench. This is just a quick product update or story or whatever you want to call it about the Samsung A52. So far, I've really enjoyed the phone. I have no, well, a, a couple issues with it. The fingerprint scanner is not super responsive and is a little slow, but this is not a full review video. Um, this is actually what happened today and yesterday. Uh, you'll see that this is what I'm talking about. So yesterday, I had it plugged in to one of those wall outlets, one amp USB wall outlets, just to charge, not fast charging or anything, it's only one amp. And I smelled, it smelled like burning plastic, and I searched the entire room, I couldn't figure out what it was. Didn't find any problems, anything burning anywhere, so I unplugged my phone, went up to dinner, forgot all, forgot all about it. Today, I'm driving, I plug it in to the car and it's a fast charging outlet so it's a two I can't remember two something amp charger to fast charge and I start smelling the smell again and I have the air on so I th thought it was a smell coming from the outside but it smelled like plastic so what could it be so I look down and there's smoke coming from the cord connected to the phone. It's straight up smoking. And so, of course, I, I quickly unplug the USB and I grab the cord and it just pulls off without any effort at all. It just completely pulled off. Um, you can see there, it just melted through all the wires. So then I took a pair of pliers to try to carefully pull this out and it it can't. It is stuck. So let's try to get it to focus there. I don't know if you can see, but the metal around it is actually deformed. It actually... Maybe better there. It actually bent the plastic and the metal. And this piece of cord has now been essentially soldered or fused into the charging port. So almost caught on fire while I was driving on the freeway. Um, luckily just pulled it away and it, it immediately stopped. I've never had any overheating issues with this phone. Um, and it's the middle of winter right now anyway, so I wouldn't expect any. I did have the heat on in the car, but it was I have it on defrost, so there's no hot air blowing on the phone when it's sitting up in its cradle. So no hot air on the phone. It's not hot. It's no issues and I know it's not the cord because it happened the previous day on a completely different plug and with a completely different cord. So I called Samsung Care, they're having me send send it in for repair. Uh, it's I don't think it's repairable so I am anticipating getting a phone call from them saying it's not repairable. Hopefully they say that it's under warranty. I mean it was a third party cord but again I know it's not the cord that was the problem because it happened with two different cords, two different amperages, two different plugs. So it was it's an issue with the circuit in the phone. But anyway, I'll update you when I get the response from Samsung. It is still under warranty. I just bought it in October. It's now January, so it should be covered. I anticipate getting a new phone, but hopefully they are reasonable. I'll let you know. They sent me a UPS shipping label, so I'm going to get it shipped off today. And I guess I'll throw the SIM card in my old phone and use that until I get this back. We'll see what happens. I'll update you as soon as I hear. Okay, so clearly I got the phone back. It's been a couple of weeks now, so I want to talk through my experience. Turnaround time was actually one week exactly. I sent it in on a Wednesday. I received it the following Wednesday. So turnaround time was exceptional, and communication was also great. I got an email when they received it. I got an email when they started looking at it. I got an email with the results and their decision on what they were going to do, and an email when they sent it back. So very happy with Samsung Care service and turnaround time. That was great. So what about the actual repair? So they, I was wrong. Um, they did repair my phone. It was repairable, essentially. Um, 
apparently. So, and I know that because uh, there were some familiar dings uh, on the corners. But let's look at let's look at it here. So there's still a little bit of a bump there. You can feel it when you run your fingers across from where the plastic kind of became deformed. And then this depression here. I never noticed that before, but maybe it was there, maybe it wasn't. It doesn't seem to impact anything. Maybe it would just be from taking it apart. So putting it back together in the, in the couple of weeks that I've been using it since, I haven't seen any defects or problems um, with that. So that is great news. Uh, the paperwork was a little bit interesting to me. So they first said there was cosmetics damage. Now, I mean, I guess that's pretty obvious because of the um, warpage and everything from the when it would burned. It did cause cosmetic damage. And then, like I said, I had a little bit of scratch in one of the corners. You can kind of see it there. But so, okay, so that makes sense. Non warranty cosmetic damage is normally not, but then it says replace part. So they didn't really define what that meant. Next one is ringer tone inaudible. I have no idea what they're talking about. When I sent it in, I have no knowledge of any ringer tone not working or any sound. I actually used the phone all that day. I called Samsung Care on that phone, had no issues. So I don't know what they're talking about there. Maybe it was something when they took it apart, maybe it was an issue I didn't notice. But again, they said non-warranty, so I don't understand if that, that would be an internal problem, so how would that not be covered? This is the one I don't like. Unauthorized modification of product. I didn't modify the product in any way. I didn't try to take it apart. I didn't do anything but plug in a charging cord, which is an acceptable use of the product. Now, granted, I didn't use a Samsung cord, and I never said I did. In fact, when they asked me the question, I admitted to them that no, it was not a Samsung brand cord. But it's crazy to expect that people use Samsung brand cords for everything. I mean, how many cords do you have? One for your bedroom, for your office, for maybe another one around the house, a car, two cars, you know, five, six cords. How many people actually have name brand cords? You find one that has good reviews. That works well, and you you buy the cheapest one that fits the, those criteria. So, again, though, that's not a modification of the product by any definition. So that's not actually accurate. Um, also said it's non-warranty. So it's kind of weird that they said the problems they found were all non-warranty problems, yet they were willing to fix it for free. I've never known a company to fix non-warranty problems for free. So does that mean that they know this is an issue, but they're not willing to admit it because then they'd have to do a recall? So they're just calling it non-warranty, but whenever they come in, they're fixing them? Or is there something else going on? Just there's not, an, there's not enough information on this page that I got to really explain what they found or what happened. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that my account now has all these non-warranty repairs it makes it look like I did something wrong, but they fixed it. So, you know, I don't anticipate any further problems. I, I could look up all these part numbers, but I haven't done that. Um, apparently speaker was one of the issues. So maybe the speaker blew, maybe one of the bottom speaker blew out when it burned up or something, one of the wires. So, and I just didn't notice it because the top speaker was still working. But anyway, no issue since I got it back. It's worked. It's worked great. Uh, no overheating when charging. I'm, I now frequently touch the cord while it's charging to make sure it's not getting hot, uh, just because I'm a little bit paranoid now, but haven't had any issues, haven't seen any problems. The phone works great. So like I said, turnaround time was great. Communication was great. Repairs seem to have been quality. And overall, I'm happy with the experience and just hope that my phone doesn't start smoking again in the future and start a fire. So if, let me know if you had a similar experience um, with a Samsung phone, specifically with the A52, what you think. That was just my experience. I hope you enjoyed. 
Please subscribe, click the notification bell, and I will see you next time on the Green Workbench.